Happy December 1st, everyone! That's right, for the month of December, I got and bought December because December is a season to be jolly, and more importantly, Christmas is all about giving and treating yourself. So I decided to treat myself by giving myself none other than Master December to kick off December with. So happy December, everybody, and let's get into the gameplay of this amazing cheese fan right here because man, doesn't she look glorious! And here we are on Skarner's Imaginators. Man, it has been a long, long time since I boosted this game up. But without further ado, let's be taking my glorious Christmas chase variant themed of Master December right here and placing on the portal. Man, that was a mouthful. And there she is in her not so chase variant in game glory. But hey, at least it does signify that she is special. And I get a trading bonus for all of my Imaginators. So now they go from crazy level to crazy level plus. But look at that, level 59, that's pretty insane, all of my Imaginators being able to reach that level, just imagine their health bar at that point. You could almost say it would be over 9,000, but enough of the Dragon Ball memes. Uh, we have Ember at level 5 with a good amount of gold to boot, because as per normal of these chase variants, they start off um, with, you know, a few little bonus goodies to make the whole leveling up experience a whole lot easier. Yeah, one thing I love about Imaginators is this stat. You see this academy over here? Yeah, this one. This one right here. The Skyner Academy. You see it? Yeah, we don't need to go there to upgrade. We can just press the uh, touchpad and upgrade right off the bat. That's brilliant. So we're going to go for the most expensive move first, but I would be not. We can now create a supernova. I would start singing a champagne supernova, but my singing skill is terrible, so I will save your ears from that tyranny. Uh, regardless, we have now granted ourselves the ability to do this. Oh, such destruction, I love it. Yeah, Ember, definitely one of my favourite uh, senseis. Her moves are very fluent and uh, chain together very, very well. Her design is fantastic. Like, seriously, we see the same sensei before us, right? We both see a real badass samurai warrior with a double-bladed fire sword. You don't get much better than that. Anyway, we're going to enter the fire round because it only seems appropriate, you know, playing one of the fire senses um, in all. So it's not very uh, Christmassy because, after all, it is the season to be jolly. So, whilst we don't exactly have uh, Christmas to go out in this here level, we do at least have joy. I mean, like, a, vo uh, a volcano is about to erupt, so cl uh, cl uh, clearly that's got to imply for eruptor some sort of joy, like he's a volcano, so surely he finds joy in volcanoes erupting is what I'm trying to say right here. Oh, never mind about this jolliness, or joyness. But then again, jolly joyness, aren't they basically the same thing? Or oh, before breakfast, let's do it! Yeah! I mean, I've had breakfast, but I don't think Ember's had breakfast, so, you know, she needs to do it all, and she needs to do it all before breakfast. She's just that much of a bard, that's mine, you. Yeah, don't you think a samurai is like the perfect theming for a sensei? Because, you know, samurai are teachers, especially, you know, amongst their own culture. You know, samurai would be taught by fellow samurai, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on this. Uh, but yeah, it's just perfect sensei design, you know? You know, just sensei being Japanese for teacher and everything. Okay, we can even use the uh, freeze ray to defeat that guy, so that's quite glorious to say the least. But yeah, uh, the thing with Christmas here in the UK is that it's very different to that of Australia because whilst Australians are, you know, on the beach having a barbecue during the middle of summer, due to the fact that the UK is in the Northern Hemisphere, we for Christmas have winter, so naturally it snows most of the time and it's pretty cold, but at the end of the day, when you have so much coal around you, it just makes the warmth all the more satisfying, you know, you have the warmth of the people close to your heart, which is just a really cringy thing for me to say, but then you also have literal warmth. Like, levels like this, where there's so much fire around, you can just, you know, gather your entire family, pop on the fireplace, and all just sit around it, cuddling one another, and just genuinely having an awesome family moment. I'm sure I'm uh, bringing up some Google stock, uh, stock images of some excellent um, traditional uh, Christmas homes right now, with you know, that 
joyful um, fireplace gathering I was alluding to earlier. Anyway, I may or may not have completely forgot about this here um, vent. Or geyser, to be more specific. I'm not playing Among Us. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure I'm not. Who knows, maybe Amber has been the imposter the whole time. But moving on from Among Us references, I do want to quickly update you on what's going on um, throughout the month of December. Um, basically, after this video is done, I'm going to be recording a bunch more top 10s as well as the 12 Days of Smashmas, which I already have three videos pre recorded for uh, as of the recording date of this video, which is the very last day of November actually, but it's going to be going live on the 1st of December, as of course um, the intro we've talked about. Note to self, remember to say that for the intro because I may or may not be recording this after, uh, before I record the intro for this video. But hey, I can uh, edit the intro before for this here portion of the video because that's just how editing works. Is it not magical? It is magical. That was a rhetorical question. And again, the magic of Christmas, I suppose. Gotta keep that feeling and all for the season to be jolly. But moving back to the upload schedule here. Um, I've decided to make the top 10s every other day, rather than every day, just because that's so much more easier and less stressful for me to keep up with. And I actually moved back home on Saturday, so I'm not going to be at uni um, over the Christmas holidays. Of course, I'm going to be spending that time with my family, which is going to be glorious. Uh, but that also means that I'm going to be able to stream a lot over December, because at home I'm going to have much better Wi-Fi than I do here at the uni. So you can definitely expect more streams, and you can expect a top 10 every day, uh, every other day even, got to say that correctly if I'm going to say it at all. And then of course you can also expect the 12 days of Smashmas. That's the plan my friends. Apparently though this freeze ray does not have the plan to uh, go to the exact places where I intend for it to go, because it's just a stupid freeze ray like that. Like seriously? This thing's mechanics are terrible, it never goes where you want it to go. It's such a big time waster, you could go as far to say. Or, you know, you could go as far to say that that's uh, what I would go as far to say, because my maths and the words are coming out, that's exactly what saying it means. Anyway, I am almost feeling sorry for these enemies right here, but as per the norm, uh, almost won't count now, does it? Alright, so now we just need to rebring those things back out and we can traverse up these stairs right here, these very fancy architectural looking stairs. Ah, got him. You see what I mean? These moves just really chain together very, very well. Oh boy, he hit me, that's not cool. <laughs> I had no idea that that had uh, that amount of range to be honest, and leveling up is just, you know, tearing it up the cake right now. Well, whatever you say here, Ember. But yeah, we do need to actually activate her Sky G, so I think after this we will go to Scholarfield to find the Sentinel Shrine. That and also Scholarfield is one of my favourite levels in this game. But I think we'll go to the Sky Fortress uh, before that because it's just so close. So we'll do this, the Sky Fortress, and then finish it off with, of course, um, the Scholarfield as I alluded to. So we might not play the whole of that level, we might just skip ahead to the shrine. Depends on how I feel when I get there. You can tell that I prepared for this, can't you? That was a lie, I uh, did not. In case it wasn't obvious already. Anyway, can this thing please? Ah, there you go. Uh, speaking of being unprepared, this freeze ray was totally unprepared for its um, duties, shall we go as far to say? And I suppose its lack of aiming skill proves that. Yeah, let's get him, boys. Although we are taking a little too much damage, I will admit. A little more than I would have hoped for, which was none. Oh, but there you go. Now we're getting some combos in here. That's what we like to see. Boom, baby. Oh, I had a burger. We like to see that even more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm loving this December right now. But man, it's a chase variant who has a pun for a name. Do you really get any better than that? The answer is no. Once again, that question was rhetorical. Boom! We defeated him with a champagne supernova. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to let go of that pun anytime soon. If a figurine can make puns, then I can make puns. That's how it works. It's punception is what it is. Anyway, we're going to grab all this gold and then grab the Imaginite chest too. Not that I'm going to need what's inside it, because I believe I've unlocked most of the parts in this game already. Yes, as you see, I have indeed with uh, boosted stats. But you know what? 
that chest kind of looked like a Christmas gift. So it's almost like he was unwrapping a Christmas gift and our Christmas gift just so happened to be the same thing that our aunt bought us. And that's just because this game and my aunt are two great minds and great minds think alike. Oh my gosh, it sits a life round, which might be one of my favourite rounds in this game, but we are still going to avoid it at all costs. What we're not going to be avoiding, however, is the Sky Fortress, as I talked about. But, yeah. Got to admit, it is fun returning to this game. This might, game might be my least favourite franchise, but it still has an amazing cast of characters. There are so few senseis I dislike. You know, the combat is phenomenal in this game. I love the upgrade chambers. They're really in-depthful. And, you know, for level design, it's fine. It's just a little bit more of a generic played safe side, and it's definitely lacking in quantity, and it's not really made up for in quality, unfortunately. So the game being a short and the game having a really terrible lackluster story is ultimately what makes it my least favourite, but the mechanic of being able to make up your own scars is something so unique and so memorable to this game, I cannot deny it that much. Credit where credit is due, this game has one of the greatest gimmicks of the franchise. Ouch. Uh, I mean, that was intentional. There was no ouch about it. Every hit I take is a hit I meant to take, because if I didn't take these hits right now, you know, I would doom us all. We might have just saved Doomsday, but the true Doomsday was uh, ensuring that we got hit then and there in that exact situation. So, uh, you know, me ensuring that I got hit there uh, and saving the world as we know it, all I have to say to that is, you're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? Okay, here we go with a little uh, micro robot thing that bobs. Yeah, in accordance to the uh, developers of this game, aka Toys for Bob, we clearly hadn't seen enough jet vacs until now, so they decided to give us an entire army of them. Thanks for that, Toys for Bob. Appreciate it. Not like this character sucks or anything, quite literally. <laughs> Once again, those are my pundits for you. And you can't get mad at them because tis the season to be jolly. Now why won't you guys just die? There you go, that's more like it. Wow, that took a very uh, drastic shift in tone right now. Boom. Maybe I should have, uh, you know, gone and got my Sky Chi and then attended this level. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's get out of the way of that guy before we activate our little uh, geyser thing in Bob, which is only a bit appropriate since we had geysers to deal with in the fire round that we just beat. Watch out for that guy. Oh, he, ju he just got murdered by the overtime damage. What do you know? An RPG element of Scar has actually came in to defeat an enemy in an RG RPG style. It's almost as if this game has RPG elements. Okay, let's be grabbing this diamond right here, don't mind for doing. You know what, that's fine, I meant to miss that guy's right there, that was all intentional, because that's just part of the sequence of events that don't lead to humans, uh, humankind's extinction in the next five years. You know, if I didn't miss that fire guy's right there, it would have spelt doom for us all, we wouldn't have got past the year 2025. So with a virus going around, I don't think we are as is, but oh no, I've just been demonetized, not that matters because I was never monetized to begin with. But oh, come on YouTube, sharing this caring, you know, you just need to share a little bit of your millions of thousands of dollars with me. Or should I say thousands of millions, because that would make more grammatic, grammatical sense. But no, just remember this, that this is not the season for giving, it's the season for, uh, for uh, I was about to say sharing, but sharing is practically the same as giving, but it's more so sh for sharing of company, rather than the sharing of gifts. You know, when it comes to Christmas this year, I'm looking less forward to gifts as I am actually being able to see my entire family, because I've been at uni for such a long time now, and I've been, you know, independent of them for a while, so seeing them again will definitely be glorious. In the very finest meaning of the word. Chili cook off? Can we just, uh, you know, stop, wait a minute, and let them cook the chili so I can taste test it all? Because that sounds like it would be one delicious activity to conduct. Also, activate the wrecking ball. I'd rather not, he's like my least favourite Skarner. Yeah, I'm going to have some fun editing this in the 24 hours I have to edit this, considering I'm literally recording this the day before it's supposed to come out. Anyway, the Dark Element might be stronger here, but we do not care. 
Uh, boom, baby. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Oh, and don't forget that I have something very special planned for New Year's, which is going to be premiered, so be on the lookout for that. Boom, baby. This is what we like to see. I mean, why would we want to see anything else other than the puzzle being solved now, right? Now, what's cool is that the Game Awards are actually coming up, and, you know, my personal pick for Game of the Year is Ghost of Tsushima. Love that game. Its exploration of Japanese culture is incredible. I mean, sure, it is a bit of a mismatch of other games of it, Sean. You know, it doesn't do anything particularly new on a gameplay standpoint, but when it comes to the characters, the art direction, just everything that goes into crafting the game, it's phenomenal. And it plays like a dream, too. Like, at the end of the day, the controls are really fluent and really fit in for the game style at hand. So, between the exploration of the culture right there and, you know, the gameplay, being fun, which is the most quintessential element of any game. Like, seriously, you failed as a video game designer if you don't make the game fun to play. Um, so yeah, that's why that is my pick for Game of the Year. Though, let's be honest, Last of Us Part 2 is probably going to win it. <laughs> Despite the controversy it's getting, it's still probably going to win it still. That game is excellent and crafted, because man, it looks gorgeous. And credit where credit is due, it has some of the best um, audio design I've ever seen in a video game period, let alone from this year. Oh boy. But yeah, I brought up Game Awards purely because um, Imaginators did win uh, Family Game of the Year at one award and body. I can't remember which one it was. I know it wasn't for mainline uh, Game Awards, but I know it won Family Game of the Year somewhere, so... You guys can see that presented before you on screen. Whoa, 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 stop. Let's just pause the frame right now so I can correct myself on saying that while Scarlet's Imaginators didn't win Family Game of the Year at the Game of the Year Awards because it lost out to Pokemon Go of all things instead. It did wind up, however, winning Best Family Game at the 2016 National Parenting Awards as well as Best Family Game of the Year at E3 2016 and at Gamescon 2016. So that's still fairly decent for Scarlet's Imaginators. Three entire Family Game of the Years to uh, call their own, so to say. Once again, thanks to the magic and power of editing. Oh, speaking of power! Got him! And you know what else we got? Some upgrades up our sleeves. Booyah, baby. So I have no idea which path I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick the opposite one to my regular ember, but I can't remember what path my regular ember is down. So for now, I'm just going to save up for the Undying Rage. I mean, did you see that animation of embers right there? Not only was it smooth, but um, it's also a traditional thing that samurais would do. You know, they would take their swords and they would wipe it along one of their shoulder plates to wipe the blood off of it from the blood of war, so to say. Of course, this game is much less blood and guts and gore and all that stuff, but it still represents the culture very well. And my apologies, I keep stuttering right here. But man, I'm gonna miss eating actually. And again, because I never got eaten in the first place, I can't really actually miss it, can I? Because I never experienced it to begin with. But still, I suppose I'll miss it all the same. Only wondering what could have been. Boot, we got him. You know what? I, I think hitting those guys with wrecking ball sounds a lot more uh, entertaining, to be honest, than just hitting the inanimate crates. Man, I do think it would have been cool if they had a literal wrecking ball on the end of this wrecking ball right now. You know, just smashing enemies with the scar and wrecking ball. And then you could play as wrecking ball, so then you're using wrecking ball to smash a wrecking ball made of wrecking ball. That's just wrecking ball section for you. Right there. Ah, oh, yes, I love this music right now. This is the um, Chapter 14 music from Slider Strap Team, I believe. Amazing track, it definitely has a nice war feeling to it, and the thing with Sky Fortress is that you know, it kind of is a war, a war between Eagle and uh, Vultures, or Eagles and Vultures, uh, Vultures to be more specific, I don't know why I said Vultures right now. Oh man, come on man, get him, there you go, that's how we had the speed. We even hit him twice with that much speed. Fast and fast, quick and quick, this guy's Lightning McQueen apparently, jeez. Where did that sudden burst of speed come from? Come on, let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Quickly! 
<laughs> that was literally the last last minute right there for the guy who regrets everything. Anyway, we're not going to leave this area without this gem back here. Boom, baby. Actually, I was mentioning earlier about how there's very few scanners I dislike. Uh, Starcast, though, he's one of them. <laughs> and that would have been his soul gem in a regular playthrough. Well, from a start, uh, restarted profile. I mean, before I had already collected the collectibles. But since this is a profile where I have collected the collectibles already, then therefore that collectible was not there for us to collect. Aye, that there is a bird. That there is. Yeah, jet vac, did you have to? I mean, I'm kind of jumping over here. I'm sorry, that was a terrible New York accent right there. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Hopefully, future editing and I remember to insert a decent um, New York accent. <laughs> Just to shame me even further. Or is it farther? Maybe I am my own father. Now that would be plot just a century right there. Me being my own father. And then me being uh, that same father before him. I'm just loo I'm just continuing this loop of nonsense, aren't I? It just keeps on getting more and more nonsensical, this video. Boom, baby. Okay. Luckily for us, Sensei is stronger here. And we also have the Champagne Supernova, so this guy, he's going to be no problem for us whatsoever. I almost feel sorry for complete enough for annihilation this guy went through right there, but almost doesn't quite cut it. Oh, what's that? Now I'm too busy skipping Deep Stew right here. A little bit of a meme carried over from the corner version up right there. You know, you can't have Christmas without memes. Okay, let's be pushing these into place with my 10,000 IQ. If only I had this much IQ playing Among Us, am I right? <laughs> Man, I'm a terrible faker, so being imposter in Among Us, I suck at. Most of the time when a winner is imposter in Among Us, it's just because I sit back and let everybody else just accuse each other. And the whole time I'm just back there giggling and being like, Hehe, that was me, but I'll let you accuse him just fine. <laughs> And then of course when somebody else, uh, when somebody is falsely accused, everyone starts falsely accusing the person who falsely accused him. So it just starts a cycle of false accusement. So I've won without even killing anyone because everyone's just started killing uh, themselves amongst each other. Amongst each other, because it's Among Us. Get it? Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Anyway, let's be heading back that way. So I do not recommend playing Among Us publicly. I much prefer, you know, getting a Discord call together and playing with mates. It's so much better. Anyway, let's be grabbing that burger right now. Who would have known that Samurai's Crazy Burger is to this extent, but here we are. So those of you ever wondering, um, do Samurai's Crave Burgers? This here video is basically the answer to your question. Right now. DESTRUCTION! DESTRUCTION! Oh yeah! That is what we like to see, my friends! Boom, baby! <laughs> so let's be skipping that deep stew once again, be spying out what our Christmas gift um, has in stock for us, none other than a heroic shoulder armor. I'll take that as compliment, actually, you know. You give me something heroic, implying that I myself am heroic. Light, well, we're definitely not swapping out, that's for sure. Too busy enjoying my Master December Chase variant right now. Oh, sorry, Holy Peak Chase variant. If I'm going to say it, I should say it correctly. Boom, baby. That's what we like to see. What I need to do now is skip the deep stew. No, oh, that's unfortunate because that's exactly what I did. Thanks for telling me exactly what I needed to do, Jet Fat, while skipping over exactly what it was that he was telling me what to do. Mm. Let's be grabbing a burger. As always, Ember is craving those. I just love the word crave for some reason, mostly because, well, most probably even because it's associated with one of my favorite uh, cereals, literally known as Crave. And they literally call it Crave because they know from the get go that you're craving it because it's so, so delicious. 
some great psychological uh, mind games going on with that company who makes Crave. And I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry I don't have supreme intelligence when it comes to serial companies, okay? I'm terribly sorry that I am so dumb with zero IQ, which is a very sharp contrast to what I started earlier. And I'm sorry I'm just not illiterate enough for all of you, insert word here that's really illiterate, <laughs> that describes people who are really illiterate besides just saying illiterate people. Nah, that'll do it. Just use that word. There you go. Good job, editor. Appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it, but I'm sure my editor does not. My editor is probably really mad at me right now, creating all of this uh, editing for him. Curse you, Pastic Knight! I'm so mad I could delete this entire video. Oh shit. And that's funny, because, you know, I am my own editor. I'm saying this as if, you know, someone's editing for me when that is not the case whatsoever. Anyway, well, here we go. Nicely, with it? more mash up the buttons. Mash, mash, mash that button. Mash, mash, mash the mash. I think we should change Christmas traditions. Forget, uh, roast. Uh, potatoes, put mashed potatoes on Christmas dinner for now on instead. It's way more, you know, demon for Christmas, a good old mashed potato. You know, Christmas dinner is essentially perfect because it has meat, the quintessential part of just about any meal. Uh, and then it also has, you know, it has delicious vegetables, and it also has the Yorkshire puddings, which is the best part, most obviously, the part which I save for last because Yorkshire puddings are delicious. So delicious, in fact, that, you know, they don't even, that they deserve much better than me just calling them delicious in a regular tone of voice. No, they have to be delicious instead. <laughs> Why wouldn't you guys die? That'd be highly convenient for all of you. Oh, speaking of someone dying, level me up. Level me up! Ah, I'm dying over here. Oh, thanks, game. That's new shall receive, I suppose. It's like your Christmas list. Don't expect Santa to bring you stuff that you don't put on the list. How is he supposed to know that you want something if you don't ask for it? Ask him, you know, don't expect to receive. But, you know, you shouldn't ex uh, you especially shouldn't expect to receive something you never asked for. Because, yes, that, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, if you ask for something, then you're more likely to, re to receive it. It does not matter then otherwise, but still, ne never, never expect to receive anything. You can ask for stuff just fine, but don't expect it. Is what I'm saying here. Hopefully that moral, uh, you know. Hopefully that moral synced in. Though to be honest, I was kind of attracted by uh, December's words of wisdom right here, and I could blame you if you got distracted by him too, because I was one who got distracted by him in the first place. He started jumping up with my words. Who even knew words could be jumbled up? It's not so like they're a physical object to be jumbled, and yet here we are jumping up words all the same. Anyway, let's defeat this uh, Doomlander and then head back to Scotland. The command bridge, you saying? Actually, I think after we defeat this Doom Raider, we'll just cut straight to the Sentinel Shrine and uh, watch the cutscene unfold before us because I think that can create for a rather interesting cut, don't you? Uh, either way, I'm sure we'll find out in the edit. Why can't this guy die? It's all the inconvenient for him. Not dying right now. There we go. We're getting him. We are getting him. Oh wow! You see uh, Ember's face right there. She has just calm written all over her. I love it. Anyway, let's be skipping the deep stew, especially since Chaos's deep stew is the most unnecessary deep stew of all of the unnecessary deep stew, and that's really saying something considering how much unnecessary deep stew there is in this series. Again, I meant to miss with those, you know, it was all intentional. Okay, here we go. I think the melee attacks are just far more effective against this guy right now. And also, I'm loving that little bit uh, of the acrobatic flip Ember's going through right now. Really proving her as a Sentinel class. After all, Sentinel class guards are agile and, um, well, mostly just agile, really.
How can you enjoy Wrecking Ball Chaos? He's such a dumb scum, huh? Ouch. I meant to get hit by that Wrecking Ball. It was all part of the plan. Get out of the way of a Wrecking Ball! And of course, you know, Doom, La or Doom Landers attack, I suppose that would also be good. Boom! So what do you think of that cut right there? Cutting directly as Ember leveled up, but regardless, as you can see, I'm now at Scholar Villa. One thing I love from this level is that Ember sure has one awesome uh, grind rail animation. But regardless, we're now going to be activating this here Sentinel Shrine so that then we can not only unlock Master December's um, Sky G, but we could also watch an incredible cutscene so it's, you know, a great two for one dealio. And what an incredible cutscene that was indeed. So we're going to activate the sky cheese to see how it looks. And it looks awesome! Wow, such destruction. You guys know my appetite for destruction. I can literally know as ignite the fire and fire. It has, you know, two sides to it. One side that is destructive and, you know, puts people in harm's way. And the other side to where it can be used to create, to even heal because it cauterizes wounds. And to, of course, provide life and heat, to provide, in other words, hope where there is none otherwise. So, yes, I love the whole two sides to fire and all, and uh, to match that theme in as well. Ember literally has two sides to her weapon, so it just goes to show that there truly is two sides to every story. In this case, there's two sides to the fire and two sides to Ember's weapon. I'm saying this twice just to emphasize it. After all, by saying it twice, I have put emphasis on the very thing I'm repeating. Uh, regardless, um, we beat for Doom La uh, Doomlander even before the. Uh, cut right there, I have no idea what a Doomlander is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, not only slay that there Doomlander, but I'm also going to slay the uh, sea, sea monster from this level, after I've defeated this thing. So yeah, we're going to go on ahead and slay the sea monster, but we're going to do that in a much smaller left-hand corner of the screen, so that then I can cut away the commentary, and uh, the external camera can be placed, so Ignite can finally end off this video so yes enjoy the gameplay at the top left of the screen right now so as promised here i am with an external camera and the gameplay in the top left that has no doubt been sped up but remember if i make a mistake it was intentional regardless getting to master december right here you can see her colors alone are incredible her samurai armor has a clear plastic to it and there's a really nice shade of blue you know, it's kind of a mixture of blue and then a light teal to make for just something that really stands out. It's such a unique shade and it's very Christmas-like too, you know, for purples, for blues, for oranges and the greens along her little belts down there and the blue type flame, it just has this warm type feeling to it. And then you have the silver of the armor to just make the figurine look rich and just well thought through. This is definitely an employee bonus to say the least after all it is the exclusive employee edition from the holiday of 2016 and man would i be satisfied with this as an employee of course you still have your usual bells and whistles of an imaginator you have the name for skana right there master december Fan for flames is her catchphrase, and of course she's a fire ele elemental sensei of the Sentinel class. If I can not mess it up, that is. But what I love about this box the most is that it's customized. Most chase variants I'm imagining is just have the standard packaging for their ca uh, character counterpart, mind you. So take uh, Crystal Starcast. He has his regular Starcast packaging, despite being a Crystal Chase variant, but with Master Decent right here, you can see already right off the background that there's a Christmas theme into it. You can see candy cane looking poles and just um, Christmas decorations looking the same in design as uh, for little uh, star type objects on the end of Ember's belts once again, you know, I almost called them shards right now, I will admit, but yeah, it's the size that I find most impressive because you have, of course, the red, the snow dribbling, of course, the Toys to Life element, 
the actual chase variant colored in they went through such a sheer amount of detail and effort to make this employee exclusive scarlet all the more expressive and colorful it's so glorious and of course you have the top which has that same glory to it it's even better with that nice little gleam from the sunlight behind it as you can see right there and then the other side of course um uh, mirrors the well other side that's a lot of sides to say in one sentence but regardless moving on to the back you of course have the additional one two three what the character looks like in the game which unfortunately is a regular ember couch part as we saw but what i love is that this box is outlined by christmas lights you can see little snowflakes all over the box you also have fellow um imaginators and since he's down here, and finally, of course, there is um, Scarlet's Academy, now streaming on Netflix, which is cool. Just sell to the employees the TV show that some of these employees that receive the figure would have, would have been working on anyway. Like, I can only imagine having to animate those episodes. You would have had to watch the same scenes over and over again. What torture that would be for an episode like Missing Links or Beard Science, that would be absolute worst a TV show has to offer. But yeah, the bottom is nothing of interest, uh, just some legal information as well as the fact that this is not intended for resale and of course its contents too, since it contains one Skarda figurine. Remember when Skardas used to have a figurine, a card, a sticker, and a little code for Skardas Universe? Yeah, I remember that too, but regardless, it's funny how it's not for resale, and yet that's exactly how I got my hands on this, through an Irish seller, because this was sent all the way to me from Ireland. Now, there are little cuts of the packaging right here, you can barely see that. Uh, um, another thing is that my camera can barely focus on it, apparently. But yeah, what I, why I don't mind this small little cosmetic damage is that it seems almost intentional, because the other side has the exact same defect. So the fact that it looks symmetrical and in uniform with one another is glorious now that my camera's finally decided to focus on said uh, corner, that is. So yeah, I love this uh, Chase variant right here. It's easily one of my favourites with just its sharp colour contrast and yet its specific theming to the holidays and how unique and distinguishable it is. It's going to look incredible on my shelf back home. And I am beyond satisfied with this purchase right here. Man, she's awesome but that's going to conclude the video here i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will of course be seeing you in the next one events content memorizers peace